Hey, 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 what's up everybody? This rod on the road signing on. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Hope everybody's doing great. Well, I don't know if you can see him. Can you see him? It's a beautiful hawk right there. And I just wanted to get a view in him for you. He is gorgeous, isn't he? I want to kind of zoom in on him. Let's try to zoom in. I don't know how good my zoom is on here. But yeah, I just want to uh, do an update. Quick video about the van. Just a sneak peek of the reveal of the truck. Uh, I took the running boards off yesterday. And I'm going to show it in here probably, I don't know, I'm going to show it right now actually. There it is. I got to zoom out. All right, there it is. Running boards off. I like the look of it. Where's my hawk? Oh, I guess he flew away. I like the look of it. So far, so good. Uh, I like the clearance. The clearance is great. You know, like I said, I don't know if I'll keep it like that or not. But so far, so good. And that's the chain right there. Like I said, I'm going to... I'm going to make that look a little prettier. I don't like the red in it. Well, it looks okay, but I just want it all black. That's how it looks. I think I'm going to put, uh, if they suggested some um, lifters on the back of it, uh, uh, lifting blocks. I, I forgot what you call them, but the little blocks you put in between the axle, you lift it up a little bit, maybe two inches. And that will be, that'll raise the back. As you can see, it sits pretty level, though. It sits pretty level with the running boards off. Uh, it sits pretty level. Even with them on, it looked like it was sagging a little bit, but now it looks like it's sitting level, I guess. Well, if you look at the wheel well, you can tell that it's a little different. But that's not all I wanted to talk about. Matter of fact, I just got off subject seeing that beautiful hawk fly up. This is my little list of things I want to discuss today. And I just definitely want to show the van because uh, those running boards were a mess. They need work. A lot of the fiberglass is cracked. And I'm gonna probably repair them. I might use them for mud flaps. I might put them back on, I might not. I'm really not sure. But I'm spending holidays out uh, with family and stuff like that, and it's been a blast. Um, want some aggressive all-terrain tires. I think those will look real nice with the running boards off. And uh, today, hopefully, I can get that chain a different color other than uh, the dusty rust coating it has took. It's just, a, it's really not rust. It's just, just turns that way when in the weather. That's the way they do. We live on my side all the time. And it was on the back of a tow truck, so. Um, definitely, uh, let me see what we're going to. The screws on that running board were, I had to grind two of them off. They were in terrible shape. So got those off and the rest of them came off pretty easy i don't think about running boards they're huge and you have to have somewhere to put them when you're out somewhere on the road just can't haul them around with you so those are at a, a location where they'll be there until i get back um and that's most of what i wanted to uh, discuss uh, i kind of went left on my video here but I also wanted to talk about, uh, you know, I have these overland ambitions. That's that, that's what's with the running boards, removal, and the lifting it up a little bit. It'll never be four-wheel drive, and I know that. Uh, that'll be way too much for me. Uh, but, you know, with it being four-wheel drive, it, it'll allow me some extra overland experience. But when I say overland, I mean, like, basically slick, grassy areas, maybe light mud terrain, nothing heavy-duty, uh, off-the-beaten path, so to speak, rocky gravel roads, uh, stuff like that. And like I said, I'll beef that suspension up a little bit uh, with new, a few new things on it. And uh, that'll probably get me with some with some bigger tires. That'll get me in the ballpark of where I want to be. Uh, I'll need some extended type of um, 
um, things as well as extra water. I got a big water tank under my sink that I don't even use. And I think I'm going to move that to the back on that ladder rack and do some kind of DIY. It's one of them water bottles that look like a one of those gas jugs, one of those, uh, I think, five-gallon gas jugs. It might be six gallons, but it's a water bottle. I'm going to mount that on the back of that ladder rack. Since I never go up there, really, to clean the solar panels, um, I'll still be able to get up there and down to, to wipe them off every now and then. Um, but that's uh, what I plan on doing, and I'll build, like, some type of a, cover to go over it like I will um, might with the box to build some type of a custom cover that will look like the uh, window unit cover uh, so that's plans for that and let me see what else go to Ramon Reddick on Facebook and send me a friend request and I'll gladly accept it thank you so much okay well that is about it Doing some daytime stuff right now. Like I said, I'm going to find a spot and uh, I'm going to find a spot and uh, get this chain under control to the, to, the, to the way I like it. And I'm not going to clean the van because we're going through some uh, dirty areas, um, real dusty areas. So the oil's changed, everything maintenance, the drain, my fluid and changed all my antifreeze fluids out. So everything's looking pretty pretty. I like to do a little downsizing. That's what I like to get into. Then I'm gonna start doing some reviews on uh, some 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 drawings on this water bottle mount. See it'll go right there. It'll go right there above this box. I need that to be able to get off and on pretty quick because this is a lot of extra real estate, and I'll have to maybe maybe beef that up with better screws. Um, I don't know what's inside of it, but because it'll hook there, and you know, I don't know. The weight ratio got to be pretty tough because it supports me. And I'll just put it right there. And uh, I don't know about mounting much us, uh, other, many other things on it. Like I said, all this is going to be top storage. I'll have top storage here with the I-bolts. And I might even put some right here, some top storage, since I got the real estate for it. And, of course, the rack on the top is still a go for that with some lights up there. And, oh, yeah, before I get out of here... Look at that clearance. That looks great. You got to jump up in the van now, but that's cool. Okay. These lights. These lights were operational, but I'm going to replace them lights um, and raise them up so they can be used since I put that brush guard there. And these lower lights have never operated, but I'm going to go ahead and work on those as well. So the next steps will be working on the lights, fixing the chain the way I want it, and the water bottle system on the back those will be the next things i can do that were in that are that are in reason as far as preparing those running boards i probably won't get to that until as far as preparing them running boards i probably won't get to that until this spring they're really not on my top priority list and i really don't know if i'm going to fix them i really don't know if i'm going to add them back on the look i have now i like the look you know it looks different, definitely looks different, but I like it. And it's going to be functional for what I'm trying to do. Running boards and overlanding just don't go together. You know, it makes it too low. It's designed to make it look like it sits low. So, that's pretty much it. Y'all hit that like and subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. Thank you. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> okay. This is, uh, God bless America out there. This is Rod on the Road signing off. Until next time, YouTube, y'all stay safe out there. And, uh, of course, check out that midweek video. I really don't promote the midweek video. I just kind of, uh, I kind of just post it. I only promote the end of week video or beginning of week video, however you want to say it. This is Rod on the Road signing off. God bless America. Until next time, YouTube, take care. Oh, yeah, give us some tips on those tires. I need some tires that are affordable, but I want them semi-aggressive. I like the tread that comes on, on the side a little bit, too. So, uh, those are 15s, of course, most of y'all know. Give me some tips and some, and, some, uh, and some leads on those. So, good price, good price. Thank y'all. Peace.